There's me, there's us. There's them. We live in Dorset. So that's me, that's her, that's them. And together we are the Bear Fam. Now some of you may or may not recognise this person. <laughs> you may or may not recognise this wolf. Or that wolf. Or that wolf. Jack. Fatty. The sloth man. Jack. So oh, I'm tired. So I'm tired. I've been for my walk. I'm very tired. Jack. I'm coming. I'm coming. Do that again. Make that noise again. Jack. I love my answer. Not that one. Then noise. Now that he's done it. No, I can't because he did it now. Tonka. Tonka. <laughs> Uh oh, okay. Taggy! Did you think I was whistling? Oh, they can't, they can't, they can't see me. <laughs> Can we tell this? <laughs> what? Oh, God. This dog likes my booby shelf. Don't you, dear? You like sitting on my boobs, don't you? <laughs> You've got no purchase whatsoever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Glad to be of assistance. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chandra! Oh, time to see. What are you doing? Go see. Wanna sit with Nana? Ganga. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oi. Am I going to get a foot in the face? Oi. Am I going to get a foot in the face? Oi. Alright. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Say hello. So we have this idea that we were trying to do vlogmas, didn't we? Yeah. Try and make some memory beans. I'm well confused. Why is there a pause button? I don't know. Can I press it and find out? Yeah, I'll be back in a minute, babe. Record it again. Go Brilliant. <laughs> I swear he thinks he's a cat. <laughs> yeah, I think he does. That's what cats do. <laughs> Not dogs. His full weight is on my flipping forearm. <laughs> he looks like he's looking out the window because his ears are all like perked up. He is, he is looking at the window and something's just gone by. <laughs> I thought he was looking out the window. Was it a swivel or are you seeing the reflection in the glass? Like it. <laughs> oh no, she's naked <laughs> underneath. Well, what's happened? <laughs> the moon is hiding on the window sill. Why is it not focusing on your moon? It wasn't focusing on you. No, don't tell them that. It was an accident, guys, I promise. <laughs> the day, I have this 
glass that I keep next to my Sorry, Lou. medicine cabinet. I know it's disgusting and I should wash it every day, but I just use it to fill and empty to take my tablets because I'm lazy, I guess. And because I don't always drink a full glass of juice, so I save it for the next time. Anyway, I came down in the night, no glasses. My glasses been moved, but I just assumed it was Ellie putting it over by the washing up and being sort of ultra tidy so i grab it um put some water in it and i always put a dash of hot water in it because i hate stone cold water it makes my mouth jangle anyway so i put some water in it put some juice in it top it up turn it into a decent drink and i take always take a sip in the night time because my mouth's a bit dry before i take my tablets to sort of loosen the pipes so to speak so i did that and i thought it tasted a bit odd but i just assume sometimes when juice has been sat a while the water gets a bit so i just i wasn't really thinking i'd just woken up but anyway so i then ran the tablets in my mouth and i always then drink a lot because i gulp it down because i'm scared of it getting stuck or whatever so i then drunk literally probably just over half a pint down and as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, this, you know, the brain works, it felt like forever, but it, because it's only taken me a couple of seconds to drink it, but my brain is in slow motion. I'm thinking, that tastes really weird. What does that taste of? And my brain is like plodding through it. And then it suddenly struck me, it tasted like soap. And then the alarm bells went off because I'm thinking the glass was moved. It was over by the sink. And then it, the bombshell hit me because the, as, as I stopped drinking, the soapy, suddy, manky residue in my mouth was just utterly... Ugh, and I had to stop myself heaving. It's not more psychological than anything, I guess. But And I couldn't work out if it was fairy liquid or whether it was flash blooming kitchen spray. Either way, I probably got anti-backed to death. <laughs> and then anyway, I was left still puzzled thinking, why did my cup move and why would Ellie have put soap in my, in my glass? It still was a bit confusing to me until the next day when it transpired that she'd had a manky, skanky glass from her room, which she brought down, put disinfectant hinge spray in it, flash spray in it, can we just can we just point out that it doesn't have bleach in it before everyone comes at me telling me I tried to murder you? He didn't try to murder me. It was an accident. For what? And then for about two hours, I had to eat. What did I eat? I had to eat a bag of crisps because I wanted to set on my stomach because all I could taste and my stomach was like flipping over like. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, that's the day that Ellie tried to murder her mother. I'm just gonna point out. That every time I don't bring cups down from my room, she moans. <laughs> the one time I bring the cup down yeah, the from my room. Time. No, That's no. Why I didn't it think happens. it would be you, because you never do. But when I bring the cups down, yeah, I always put them to the side so she don't drink out of them. Yeah, but where did my cup go? I took it upstairs with me. So you stole my what? cup? <laughs> it's not your cup, it's our yes, cup. You know I leave one there, so you stole it. Well, it was, it was low, there was one on the top. So I just thought... I just made a drink in it. I didn't even think, because there's always a cup there that I drink out of. So I just didn't even think, and I made a drink in it. Took it upstairs and obviously filled my one up, because I didn't want her to use the cup that was dirty. So I put I put um the spray in it, thinking, oh, I'll fill it up with water, move it to the side. She won't touch it. Well, the so idiot I drank, drank it. So the idiot didn't just touch it, she drank it. <laughs> and then I felt really bad. And then... Oh, at least I found that it said there wasn't bleach or ammonia in it, so. Well, I didn't die. Oh, thank um, That we're going to try and do Vlogmas. Now, we're well out. <laughs> eh? Oh. We're well out of practice, so. I don't know how it's going to go. But we're going to try. I don't. I haven't regularly vlogged in. Well, years. Madam hasn't vlogged since yeah, she was about 12 and now she's an adult 
and all growed up. She can drink alcohol and everything. I can make my own decisions now. I can't have no one telling me what to do. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> seeing it's going to start where we mean to go on, I thought you were flipping the bird then. <coughs> what is wrong with you, Fatty? Anyway, we're gonna you're gonna have to join us. We're gonna all this over here is stuff that I've put to one side to take to a charity shop but it's not got there because the van's not <sighs> working properly at the moment and you know so i'm gonna have to move it all around and we're gonna this chair's moved as you probably if you're an, if you're an og then you know and if you don't know don't really matter does it um gonna move it all around and trim it up and make it look all rhythmicy <laughs> And and then the two of us are going to act like complete plonkers all Christmas and try and entertain you. So, on that note, and on that bombshell, I wish she'd stop doing that in the background with my eyesight. I keep thinking she's being rude. <laughs> right, oh, not that oh, she can, I can stop her there because she's an adult. <laughs> I think I'm making her anything then. Right, I'm going. That was just a quickie. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Bye.